Hello everyone, this is Sirius Trivia, and welcome back to another episode of our Assassin's Creed Valhalla Let's Play. So we got our trade post up and running, and we have the spice for the coronation, so let's go uh, back. I'll raise the renown to level 2. Hmm, that's probably more trade post to be established, but we'll do that in the future. We're gonna go speak to our cousin, and maybe go to the coronation of the new High King. Bareth, Flan's gift is on its way to Meath. Very good. I, I was just preparing to leave for the coronation, though I now have a problem on my hands. What is it? Flan's poetess, Kira. She was here delivering a formal invitation, and now I do not know where she's gone. Do you think she's in trouble? No, I think she is amusing herself somewhere. Likely perusing Dublin's markets. We need her. The High Poetess is an important member of the King's Court. There cannot be a coronation without one. I will find her. Where should we meet? By Dublin's gates. I will ready the horses. Uh, speaking of the gates and the city, I know there's two opal. One by the gate and one in the city that we missed, so... This is a good chance to maybe grab those. What do you see, Sunan? That's our quest location. That's one of them. That's the other. That's kind of our... Oh, a third. Wow. Oh, don't mind me, there's a fourth one here. This city's loaded. <laughs> Alright, so... This one's next, and then we'll go to the market. And we also know what delicacies are for that altar in the future. We're gonna need a specialized outpost for that. Or more chests, those small chests that scatter across the land. Is this one just in the open? Some oh, it is. Okay. She's somewhere in the market. I should actually visit this place. There might be actual items for sale. Hi. I have those if you want them. Mm, not really. I mean, the great rooms are nice, but you as you it. can tell, we are poor, so... Thank you for selling to me. Anything else? We either have to get involved in go. more drinking contests, soon. which is a really, really easy way to make silver. 200 per drinking contest. If I get desperate, I'll just, you know, go binge drinking in between recordings. But right now, I think we're fine. Okay, so Don't she's ahead. somewhere over here. That's kind of a broad range. Any chance we can pinpoint it a little bit? Needs to be pointing towards this building. Yes. For the sake of our ears, shut your mouth! Sure, and you're an idiot. You are all the same. Grab the bitch! 
Murphy, won't you let a caged bird sing? Shit. I'd hoped an audience of tone-deaf Danes might permit. Are you Kira? Hold her down. Wonder of wonders. How much trouble can I be in at once? Can't help you. This one comes with me. No, no, no! She will answer for this insult! Can't change your mind? <laughs> you owe me. Yes, we have to fight. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Got right for that one. Yeah. Ooh, breaking arms. Ow. Looks like our poetess has made friends with the ground. On your feet, poetess. Malian, everything is spinning. A cold bath will remedy this quickly. Seems like the map has a place for us. <laughs> what was that for? To flush the ale from you. If you think I'm going to lock you to Tara, you're mistaken. Tara? Wait, who are you? Barret sent me to collect you. He's waiting at the stables. Ah, an envoy. Tell me, how much coin would an envoy be wanting to speak nothing of this brawl to Barret? He'll tie a guard to my hip the next time I'm in Dublin. A man can be so sensitive sometimes, do you know what I mean? I do. Barith is my family. <clears throat> well then, I think my mouth has gotten me in enough trouble today. Try opening it less. Works for me. Shall we? Alright. Let's get out of here. Barith has never spoken of you. What name do you bear? Eivor. I hail from Norway, now settled in England with the rest of my clan. A clan, eh? Are they all fist thumpers like you? It is because of these fists you live to sing another day, poetess. So true. Barith. I was beginning to worry. What took? There was... trouble. Ara, no need to be so tense. Shall we ride for Tara? We don't want to be late for the coronation. After you. I guess I'll just bring my own horse. Guess we'll come back for these opal. They're right above us, but mission first. I was surprised to meet a member of your family, Baris. Eivor tells me she's come from England. Yes, Eivor is helping to establish trade in Dublin, secure valuable resources with faraway lands. In time, Dublin will become the heart of Ireland's trade, one that each and every kingdom can benefit from. That will no doubt please the future High King. Yes, well, above trade, I am hoping Flan can see Dublin as a friend and ally. You and many others. A relationship with Barith would be one worth fostering. It would be foolish of your king to ignore it. It appears Eivor is not abreast with our kingly history, Boris. We were hoping to have a meeting with Flan. My wish is to strengthen our ties. Can you see it done? Perhaps. We will see how the evening goes. Mirth, the next area. One story flows into another, it seems. <laughs> Feed a 
swear, don't he order? Quite the event, hmm? Spared no expense, that much is clear. Ara, my lady, one of the priests has gone missing. A violent mess is left of his tent. I fear something terrible has happened. Missing? Are you sure? Could be nothing. Could mean danger. Where is Flon? He's not yet arrived. That gives us some time. Kira, act as if nothing were amiss. Barth and I will look into it. Where is this tent? Up the hill, to the left. Be careful. And we got ourselves a little mystery to be solved. There was a fight here. It is the eve of the coronation and already trouble brews. Keep your wits and stay close. We do not know anything yet. Something dark happened here. We must follow the blood. A succulent roast. Let us go back and follow another trail. Animal carcasses. We'll go back and follow another trail. Alright, this one looks real. The blood leads off away from the main camp. Perhaps towards those tents? Looks that way. Blood stops here. Where do these card tracks lead? This story is like to have a poor ending. I fear so, cousin. On such a momentous day as well. Flon's coronation may not be as hoped. Hmm. Quite far. fan of this fog. So someone beat up a priest. He's bleeding. Dragged him to a cart. Push the cart here. There. A cart up ahead. A body. Looks like they hit a snack. Recognize him? That is Senan, the priest. Bastard stripped him of his clothes. That camp up there. What is it? Anachdu is no camp, though it appears someone has made it into one. Let's go. All right, we got ourselves a bandit camp. What do you think? The priest was kidnapped. They took his clothes. I believe whoever did this means to wear them. A disguise? We will soon find out. To assassinate the king? No enemies, though. No one's... Oh, there's... There's a first one. They will attack on sight here. There. And that one is dressed as the priest. Follow my... Generation draws near. At this point, power will switch hands from the northern Yord yeah, to the southern. Yeah, the two 
opposing dynasties. You are to ensure Flancena draws his last breath before it happens, disguise himself as a priest, and infiltrate the ceremony at Tara. This should get you close enough, then cut the bastard's throat as they sing his Sent praise. to kill Flan. The letter is unsigned. An unknown enemy. Come. We must bring news of this to Kira. I'm with you. You handled yourself well, Eivor. I have to say, you really are no stranger to these sorts of encounters. You did not do so bad yourself. I. we stopped the death of a king this day. If only we knew who was behind it. No idea who would go to such lengths. You can take your pick of the Northern E Nail Kings, though it is the kings of Ulster who particularly dislike Flon. Different king, same story. Alright. Here to pick up all the goodies. What do you see, Sunan? Couple of buried stuff. Not buried, sunken. Oh. <laughs> we took the U shape for a ride. Oh, have to go up first. And then swim, I guess. Yes. Oh, it's underneath these stairs, so... Hmm. A little bit more complex than I care for, but here it goes. about this land my friend I feel like that's that's a chest yeah we should go get that for sure wow there's just so many things I must be careful now Delicacies. Well, we need 50 for our altar back in Dublin. Okay, nothing else here. This was on the way. We just didn't scan it on the way here. Looking at the map. All the ones we marked over here, uh, it's actually kind of a shame to not go there, but feels like we should go back and just wrap up this quest for now. We'll definitely be back in the future, just not on the way. I really do wish Ubisoft stopped telling us about additional content, because there's no free stuff, they just want us to buy new stuff. Maybe it's because I have about 300 helix points from the rewards. And they just want you to spend it. story the priest is dead and so too are his killers bandits I found this it's an order to kill Flon one of them was to disguise himself as a priest cut Flon's throat during the coronation right under our noses why take the risk why not poison or striking at him in his sleep poison can fail and to kill him in his sleep lacks spectacle but your point is sound. 
The killer would not have made it out alive. He was ready to die. Whoever plotted this is intent on seeing Flan fall. We need to warn him. After the coronation, I will not have this gnawing at him. Flan earned this. He will enjoy it. Meet him afterward at his quarters in Duro. He will make time for you there. Now, if you will take my excuses, I need to tidy up. Come along, Eivor. The water was not that murky, was it? You don't know much about the role of a poetess, do you, Eivor? Enlighten me. I will. Well, what are you waiting for? I asked to be excused. That meant you as well. I see other kings here. News of Flan's inauguration has reached far and wide. Come, we should join them. Is that him, Flan? Yes. What are they doing? Blessing him. Abbot Owen is the highest ranking official among the Christians. His blessing asserts that Flan is ready to fill the boots of his predecessor. It is all done before the Leah fall. A sacred stone that is said to endow the rightful kings with long reigns. Does it work? Depends on what you consider long. Coronations are long. Where is the food? You have not changed. I am here. I may as well enjoy myself. Flan for And with that, Flan's enemies multiply. This warring of dynasties runs deep. If he's a smart king, he'll be eager for allies. Smart he is, but also impassioned. His plan to subdue the North is not driven by power so much as it is bloodlust. Back there on our ride from Dublin. Kira made it seem there was more to you and Flan. What am I missing? A detail. A large detail. You see, the northern king who crowned me, Ed Findlia, he murdered Flan's father and took his place as high king. 
Then, as his custom, he married Flan's mother. Safe to say there is no love lost between you. None. To Flan, Ed was a venomous snake, and so too are the ones he favored. Winning his trust will be no simple task. We just thwarted an attempt on his life. That should at least perk his ears up. Let us hope. I will leave immediately for Duro. Meet me there as soon as you can. Alrighty, so our journey to Duro will have to wait. Uh, that will kick off our quest here in this area, I'm sure. Plan over Ireland. Quest complete. Show me. Um, I just want to make sure we're not missing anything in this camp. Although such a close scan usually yields us nothing, but there is an artifact nearby, but not interested in nearby. Okay. So the plan for the rest of the episode is that we're actually going to go back to Dublin uh, on the gate that we left. Not only is there treasure here, there is two opals nearby, and uh, that's not what we're interested in. We're going to explore this area to find our other mystery and artifact and pretty much clean up the place because that doesn't count. That we can get done anytime we get the uh, delicacies. So let's head back here first. Alrighty, back to Dublin. It's surprising that the suggested power level is actually 55. What do you see? Uh, we're max power level with extra points uh, from mastery points. Uh, speaking of mastery points, we have a few that we could use, but not in a rush to get any stronger. We're already kind of breezing through some of these fights, uh, which obviously is good. If we can one-shot people, it's actually more realistic. You know, put the spear in their body, they should be dead. This up. We okay. No damage there. Door's not barred. Can't have it any better. Oh, except for well, oh, that's one of those chests that's unmarked again. See, another unmarked chest. These are going to be hard to find. We're going to actually have to use visual cues and look for them. Okay, now with all of this done, I know Go. there's one My artifact eyes. there. That's the last artifact. And there should be a mystery somewhere here. And that looks suspicious. We'll definitely take a look there too, but let's head over there first. <laughs> Why is there light over there? It's actually farther than that. It's like over there. What type of mystery don't show up until you're really close? I guess Donkirn is one type. What else? Lighting? Animus glitch? I don't think there should be any more animus glitch. Not in Ireland. They wouldn't make more of those, you know, overarching uh, story pieces or DLC. Survey the area soon. Okay, okay. A lot more stuff showing up. Key. It looks like a cave structure. And we're probably gonna end up going there. I think it's a stone cairn on that cliff. Yeah. So let's first tackle this. Alrighty, so uh, our game crash. Let's see where we are. Aid me, be my. Uh, we're headed our way over there. We just picked up our opal and little chest here. Okay, not too much lost. Uh, we just gotta hop on our horse and uh, get over there to the sea cliff because we yeah. haven't actually discovered uh, what the artifact is. 
and uh, we discovered they had two opal and a key nearby, and that's where the game crashed. Uh, definitely still some stability issues with the new DLC. Um, I think they had a few problems since like two patches ago, but overall, nothing too major. Uh, the game auto saved quite frequently. Uh, we just have to scan out that Stretch key, away, that Sina. opal, and then that opal, and then get over there without crashing. Can't be that hard. Anything along that coastline? I see some... I think that's just a lantern. That's not actually a chest. It's just on the ground here. Okay, I guess it's designed for people who likes long walks on the beach. Wait, are those fish that I just scanned? Wow! Ocean-bound fish. That's not common, I guess. Let's see what these are. Halibut, okay. Not the prettiest little things, but definitely tasty. Mm, too shallow. There we go. Those very hard to find chests. The bandit cave door. Okay, expect company inside, I guess. All in Dublin. By Thor, Odin, and Freya. Curse those that have burned Dublin. The city be built stone by stone. Right, he said something. They got sieged, taken, and he rebuilt it. Looks abandoned. A treasure map. Okay, so we got ourselves a Dublin treasure map. No. Wait, it should be on the way. The yeah, there we go. Um. Huh. Is that the drawing of the lake or? That cannot be the drawing of Dublin, the entire place. Yeah, it's definitely not. Not the drawing of the lake either. Is it a drawing of the abbey? The island? It doesn't particularly look like anything. We know it, was, it drew a house, which could be the abbey. There's an interesting house here. I'm sure there might be something there. All right, back back to the drawing. It's not the island. Not the island. This little handle here is the most recognizable. But nothing really matched that. Not the shape of the city. Oh, it's this field. It's here. Okay. Alright, our job here is technically done. Um, I do not believe do there's anything of significance to the south, but there might be something on that rock. My guess is perhaps a stone cairn. 
which is something we will go take a look at right now. And then we'll probably go fetch the treasure map. And then with Dublin sort of complete, I know we're missing the delicacy, but that that we have to wait until we actually find delicacy. And it'll be something quite easily done. Uh, we'll actually head back to England before we go to Mirth and uh, Doro to meet the king. Yeah. It's definitely still here. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully it's an easy one. These things are always in secluded areas. Have a look, Sunan. Any, uh... Let's see, that's in Mirth. Less curious about it now. And I don't think there's anything else. So let's get stacking. Okay, only four rocks. How hard can it be? Feels like we just have to vertical this one successfully. Okay, I don't know how sturdy the others are. Maybe it's not that well done. It's a little shaky, but I think it's doable. There we go. Simple. Wow, actually the shape is pretty insane. The last piece. Another mastery point for us. Yeah, I, I, that, this one's not bad. This one's actually kind of impressive. Anyways, we're gonna grab those points. Uh, let's see, first we balance it out, and then how many do we have? I'm gonna go melee. Then we're going to go fetch our treasure. Alrighty. And uh, it's, it's definitely this field. Sunan, guide me. I'm curious about the house over there, but I think we've been here, so perhaps it's not something we have to worry about. Anyways, let's just go grab it. Be somewhere obvious. Ah, the glowing area, perhaps. <laughs> Tattoo. Oh, tailpiece. Ooh, mermaid ship. Oh. Decided to get all the pieces for that. Uh, but anyways, with that, Dublin is pretty much complete. I know it's not entirely complete. Uh, we're still missing uh, this right here. Uh, we need to get delicacies. But next time, we're going to shift back towards England. And what we will do is maybe finish up one or two shires. I'll do some prep work. I'll discover the locations so that when we go there, we don't have to be wasting time looking around. We'll just knock them out. And uh, then we'll be back. We'll go to Mirth. We'll do the main quest line there and uh, rinse and repeat until we're done with the entire game um, or wait for another DLC, which will take a while to come out, but uh, we'll see how far we can do in terms of completion. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this and we'll see you all next time. Bye.